Okay, so just showcasing how the new custom code features are going to be working for the Gen 1 B58 cars. So just to show you all how the new selection process will be for switchable mapping, we're going to be taking advantage of the cruise control buttons here. This is just a quick demonstration. And we're also showcasing the current statuses in the MG Flasher app of verbal aggressiveness, the map switch state, and the current target engine coolant temperature that will indicate if we are in the max cooling uh, mode or not. Uh, there's a few descriptors here. We're taking advantage of the RPM gauge along with the DTC light, so the check engine light. Through different blinking patterns, you'll be able to tell which mode you're in just to kind of give the user a better idea of exactly where you are uh, in the current menu status. So to show you quickly here, if you hold the RES button, this will initiate the Octane Switchable Mapping menu. You'll have the fastest blink in this mode. You can scroll up and down with the rocker all the way through 0 and 4. This will indicate different map slots. Say I want to go to map slot 2. I'll click the Set button to confirm my selection. You'll notice the RPM return to normal and the check engine light stop blinking. You're also going to notice that on the MG Flasher app in our logger, the map switch is now set to 2 just as we targeted. If you want to enable burble, you'll go long up on the rocker, which means you're pressing all the way up for a period of 2 seconds. You'll see a much slower blinking check engine light, followed by a menu option from 0 to 4, just like the map switch option, which indicates burble aggressiveness states. So if I go to setting 3, I'm, again, I'm going to click the set button. That will change verbal aggressiveness level to three in the app as well. And for the third menu option for the time being, we're going to go long press down. This will enable max cooling. The check engine light will blink the slowest in this menu setting. And you'll only have the option of going from zero and one. No matter how many times you go up or how many times you go down, those will be the only modes, either on or off. So if it's in the on position, you're going to see the target engine coolant temperature set from the current 110 to the 90. You'll be leaving the menu after you press that set button, and you'll then see all of the reflected variables update according to what we've just done. Now, as an added bonus, say you don't want to open up the app for whatever reason, and you just want to quickly check what mode you're in, you can also do so in the same way. So for instance, if we're checking Octane Switchable Mapping, we can see setting 2. If we don't want to make a change, then we're not going to press the set, we're just going to press, press uh, resume. That will cancel out of the function and leave you in the same state that you already were. Obviously, if you click 2 and you're already in 2, it will do basically nothing and just update it to exactly what it already was. Um, yeah, and otherwise, this is uh, the entire custom function as it is right now. We plan on doing a few more add-on features, but for now, stay tuned, and we'll talk to you guys later.